Think of a big pizza joint. If they want to deliver pizzas to a larger area, they need to build more locations to serve each local neighborhood. If they were to serve each neighborhood out of a single giant location, the pizza would be cold by the time it arrived, right? Hey, bye. <laughs> Not all applications are created equal, yet for years we've really been playing with a single network model that lacks the flexibility to really address the specific needs of individual services. That model typically introduces a bunch of end devices like smartphones, cars, laptops, connected through a network to several large remote data centers. Edge computing, also known as multi-access edge computing or mobile edge computing, is a distributed computing model that puts computing power as close to the network edge, where the devices are, as possible to provide low latency, high bandwidth processing, and data offload, as well as trusted computing and storage. Edge computing started as an initiative by the European Telecommunication Standards Institute, or ETSI, to place edge nodes in mobile networks. But it's since been expanded to include fixed and converged networks. Compared to traditional cloud computing, where processing occurs remotely, in some cases, even in a different country, edge computing processes data much closer to the end device. Like we're talking right in the base station or central office. Like 5G, there is no one killer application. Rather, edge computing will apply differently in different scenarios. But there are a few front runners that seem pretty obvious. Autonomous vehicles need to be able to process their surroundings and manage a ton of complex systems in real time. With so many unpredictable scenarios, like someone ahead of you slamming on their brakes, or maybe a kid chasing a ball across the road, latency is key. Autonomous driving requires artificial intelligence and machine learning as close to the vehicle as possible. One delayed calculation could mean a road accident. Virtual, augmented, and mixed reality applications also require very low latency, but also large bandwidth to process HD, 4K, 8K experiences in real time. Overlaying images on glasses or windshields that map to real-world objects requires sophisticated processing that mobile devices simply can't do yet. Cloud processing, on the other hand, has the horsepower, but it's too far to be reactive enough. Edge computing is the perfect solution to provide the processing power necessary, but close enough to react to real-world environments. At its core, no pun intended, edge computing is really where the network and internet meet to hand off traffic for processing. By allowing this handoff to occur closer to the devices, we're able to deliver improvements in performance and latency for new use cases like mobility, gaming, video streaming, and IoT and ultimately make our digital world more reactive and immersive. I'm on the edge of my seat just thinking about the possibilities. Thanks for watching. What was that Aerosmith song? Living on the edge. Yeah, it's the one.